What's going on? All right, I just want to give you a summary of where I'm at in this uh, Sudo Spark restoration here. Um, so I got everything apart. And what I think the problem is, is a valve broke. Um, yeah, if you look down here, that is broken. And there's a piece of metal right there, too. Um, and then I think the parts went through the exhaust manifold into this piston here and cylinder and ruined that. Um, and all the pieces are still in the cylinder here, so... I think what happened is it it broke and, and shut off and, and that was the last time it was run. So it's not too bad. This bottom end looks really good. There wasn't metal in here or anything. And it looks pretty clean. Um, so, drive line looks good too. Doesn't look, it doesn't look, um, stripped at all. Um, Bob wear rings toast. Uh, the jet pump spins really smooth. There's no play. It feels good. There's no no burrs. So it's pretty good shape, I think. Um, oh yeah. There's another one in there. Usually, it's that's the problem that the coating comes off and then the seals leak and water gets in the motor, oil gets into the water, and that fills up. And that's a problem, but I, that's not a problem, I don't think. Um, what else? Uh, the spring spring broke here and. I think that's some kind of oil sensor that cap goes on it goes in there somewhere um, yeah so um what else I'm gonna bring the motor to a machine shop and have them clean it up check the valve check the valves and clean those up and I don't know. They know a lot about motors. They, they'll be able to. Sounds like they'll be able to put this thing back together nicely. Um, <clears throat> see how much they charge for that. So, um, still trying to figure out what this is. Spilled some oil in there. Uh, I think this is a heat shield. A piece of trash. I don't know. Just trying to figure that out. Bunch of connections. Not not too bad. Really, it was not too bad. It might look like a lot of parts, a lot of pieces, but it's it's really not bad. Uh, I've never taken an engine apart. A couple things like I don't have the tool to. I I, th I think I gotta get some kind of cam lock tool or something. I don't know. I couldn't get. I couldn't get that off. I don't have a tool for that flywheel. Um, but I think the machine shop will be able to. Don't know more about that stuff. Um, <clears throat> having these hooks in the ceiling here, it'll really help getting the lid on and off. Just tie some hooks to the ceiling, and that worked real good. Um, fix the wiring in the trailer in the front, fix the tail light, no problems there, put some light bulb grease in there, 
Um, so for, for tools, you need a torque socket set. Nothing too crazy there. Like, what's that? You only use a couple of these, but E20. No, just not not too many. A couple in the middle here. So, so pretty medium sized set. Get a Home Depot. You're gonna need a, some of these bits. Torque. I don't know what size these are. E. 27, 30, 25, you only need a couple of those too. <clears throat> this thing came in handy a lot. A little elbow socket adapter. That you're gonna need. You're gonna need that. Uh, a couple of ratchets, like the ones that the 90 degree ones would probably be better, but probably need like some 10, 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter. A couple of sockets. Um <clears throat> So, what else? Um, when you take the motor out, you probably want a like a like a cookie sheet or something to put it on. A couple of cookie sheets. Um, I put mine on the ground and got oil everywhere. It was a mess. It sucked. So, I'm gonna want somewhere to put the motor on. It's gonna keep all your oil in one spot. You need some room to put all your parts. Lay it all out, keep it organized. Um, I got the uh, yeah again. I got the manual, so I'll be able to figure out where all these screws go again. Um, what else? Oh, I'm gonna take the tops off, clean them, clean all this up. While well, the motor's getting work done. But halfway there, pretty excited. I think it's going to be a success. Learn a thing or two. So, till next time.